Welcome back and if you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela and this video I'm going to talk about my May books, so everything I have read in the month of May. Uh, I read six books, some of them very short, others a bit longer and overall May was good. It was way better than April, because in April I read a lot of books that I disliked, so I'm happy about May. Like, I really am. These are the books I read in May and yeah, I'm happy about myself. Also, May was a bit busy. I couldn't tell you what I did because I don't remember, but I remember it being quite busy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go through them. I'm going to go in chronological order, just the way I read them and just talk about them. So let's do that. The first book that I read was Butterflies and Moths. Can you see that? Please focus. Okay, is that in focus? So the first book I read was Butterflies and Moths uh, from the series Conservation from the Ladybird. Yeah, Ladybird collection. And it's just a very small book about butterflies and moths. And the illustrations are just so beautiful. Can you see that? Please focus on the butterflies. I'll just assume that you saw that. So yeah, I mean, I really liked it. I kept this book till May to get in the spirit of, I want to say spring, but spring started in March. So um, I don't know, it just, it just felt like a May book. I wanted to, I don't know, everything's green, everything's nice. So that's why I kept it till May. And I really liked it. I gave it a four out of five stars, so it was really nice. It also had, it reminded me of those, um, you know, those books, like a thousand things you didn't know or stuff like that. It reminded me of those. So it was a really nice book. So I do recommend if you ever find this. Also, a lot of these books I got from a secondhand bookstore. So they're very, um, <laughs> they might not be in the shops right now is what I mean. They're old and some of them, you probably never heard of before and it's just I don't know just keep that in mind they're very old books um, so this was the first one the next book I read was Benjamin Bunny uh, from the Peter Rabbit and Friends collection also by from Lady Bird and can you see that um, again it's a picture book it's meant for children there isn't a lot written in there um, but I kept this till May again because this year for me, Easter was on like the 5th, if I'm not wrong, of May. So that's why I kept it because I thought, oh, it's a bunny, so it's Easter theme. It, it had nothing to do with Easter and that was on me, but I just, I kept it till now. So I'd get in the mood or, you know, <laughs> it just, I don't know. It wasn't for me. I didn't really like it. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars because it just, it wasn't for me. I'm clearly not the target demographic for this one and I don't know, even the pictures, I think they're taken from a movie, but even the pictures, they weren't my favorite art style, so that's why I gave it a 2, but again, I am not the target demographic for this one. Just, I'm not. The third book that I read was the mystery book of the month, so which was The Famous Five by um, Enid Blyton. And I've never read a Famous Five book before. This is the 10th book in the collection. This is Five on a Hike Together and I loved it. I loved it so much. It was so good. Um, <laughs> uh, it just, I loved it. It was so good. Um, also, this reminded me a lot of Scooby-Doo and this came before Scooby-Doo, so I can see them taking inspiration because this is like uh, two girls, two boys and one dog and they go on um, adventures and then they meet this mystery and they have to solve it and it's just, it was a really nice book, it's well written, Julian was my favorite character in case anyone's wondering um, and yeah, I really liked it, also the dog is so so, I want to say cute, I know it's in writing, but it just, I love the dog. Timmy, I just loved him. And yeah, I do recommend this to anyone. It's such a nice series and it's so easy to read as well. Um, it's obviously written for children, uh, but 
I loved it. I loved it so much and I didn't expect to love it. So this was a pleasant surprise. So this was Five on a Hike Together by Enid Blyton. After that, I read Moby Dick, the pop-up book. Can you see that? I really hope it's focusing so much. Um, so initially I said I'd read both Moby Dick, the actual book, and then I'd read the pop-up, but I had to be realistic and say that the actual book is very long and I'm, I was just wasn't in the mood for it, so I just read the pop-up first and then I'll read Moby Dick some other time because we have to be realistic at some point. And the pop-up was amazing, like, how can you not love this? Do you see that? It's just so fantastic. Like, look at this. It's just unbelievable. So good. So good. Um, I gave this a five stars. But I want to point out that the five stars are for the pop-up in itself, like the art and just the pop-up is not for the story because the story is so compressed that you don't really get much from it. It's, it's a few sentences in each page and if you don't really know the story, it, it won't really make sense. Like there is a plot but it's very very thin um so yeah go into this for the art i mean i'm pretty sure this is made for children again but it's such a beautiful book and i don't know if i mentioned this is by sam ita um and it's just such a good book i definitely recommend it's i think it's the most beautiful book i own in my bookshelves and yeah i'm really glad i read it and now i look forward to reading the actual book so i can actually judge it on the plot so yeah this was Moby Dick the pop after that I read Just Like You by Nick Hornby as you can see here and I was so excited for this book I just the cover I love this I love it so so much but I was disappointed I gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars because it just wasn't very good um there's a lot of dialogue in this book and a lot of it feels very stale. It doesn't feel natural. It, there's also a lot of talk about Brexit and for some reason Trump is also mentioned and it just, I don't know, it wasn't my thing. So this book is about Lucy and Joseph and it's a bit of an age gap romance. Uh, Lucy is the oldest one. She has she's like 40 something or f yeah I think she's 40 something and she has two children and Joseph is a 20 something year old and it's about their story but I don't know it just the plot is interesting but I don't feel like it was developed properly it's just not very good there's also a lot of characters that didn't need to be in this book and they just make no sense none at all um, so yeah, I really wanted to love this book, but I was disappointed in the end. It just it wasn't for me. I really, really wanted to love this, but this wasn't it. This was not it. And then we go to the last book of the month, which was Hello Fatso. As you can see, very old book, very old. Um, this has multiple authors. This is basically a a uh, collection of short stories and at the end you have humor and all of this is military themed as is obvious from like the cover um i give this a two out of five stars it was it was fine some of the stories in the beginning just kind of dragged others i like but some of them just i could not get into them also military stories aren't my thing so that's also another part to take into consideration but it's just mm, it wasn't for me it definitely wasn't for me uh i did find some of the humor funny like this one how did the army ever find a place like this are you kidding the army got specialists specialists yeah the moment they find a place a human being wouldn't want to live they notify washington and the army builds a camp so some of it is funny at least I found it funny, 
but it's just mm, it's not very good also they do have doodles from time to time if that focuses um but no it, it wasn't for me it just glad i read it but i'll i'd never read it again and i don't recommend i don't i just i don't even know what to say um so yeah it's just it's an interesting read i wouldn't read again i just wouldn't so that was it those were all the books that i read in may and these are some of the books that i well some these are all the books that i planned on reading as well but these are the ones i didn't get to so we have i also have their little papers uh we have moby dick i did not get to it i do want to read it this year i just didn't get to it we have oprashanaret i couldn't get into it well i didn't even start like none of these books i didn't even start them uh, there was a time by Frank White and the Ocean, the Emperor of Ocean Park by Stephen L. Carter. So these are all books I didn't get to, and all the, oh, and all of their little papers I'm going to um, put back in their little, in my little TBR, little candy thing. Um, because I haven't read them, but I will read them at some point. Also, six books, even though some of them are very short and some people wouldn't necessarily count them, but I still feel like they're part of my library and I want to get through it. So for the past, I don't know, for the past year, I've been reading so much and I'm so proud of myself. And yeah, I mean, I don't read some of the books, but I'm still proud of the amount that I do read. So that is great. Um, so yeah, let me bend this one as well. Well, fold this one as well. Yeah, put it back and this was it. So uh, let me also tell you my statistics. This is my diary entry. Can you see that? Um, I read six books in May. The best one was Wait, let me take them. The best book was The Famous Five, Five Gone on a Hike, and the worst was Benjamin Bunny because it just wasn't for me. It wasn't that bad, it just wasn't for me. Um, I've read a total of 848 pages. Uh, the genres were children, classics, comics, mystery, romance, short stories, education, and nature. Uh, I've read mostly fiction and less nonfiction. Uh, I've read mostly books that have less than 300 pages, though I did read one that is between 300 and 499. And I have two books that I gave two stars, one that I gave 220, uh, 250, one that I gave four, and two that I gave five stars, which gives me an average star rating of 341. And I always say that if in any month I get an average rating higher than three that's perfect because last month it was like 280 or something and that was really bad but this month i actually really enjoyed some of the books i read well well yeah i i enjoyed some of them not all of them but i did enjoy some of them so yeah also this entire video was filmed with a new camera that i bought good job me it was a birthday present for myself from myself so um i really hope the quality is better i'm still not sure how the audio is but i hope at least the video quality is better and slowly i'll just i'll figure it out slowly but we'll get there so yeah tell me what books you've read in may anything interesting anything i should look at i am on a book buying ban this year but i do have a list of recommended books that i've added in a little file so I do plan on reading them next year, so if you have any books to recommend, please put them down below, leave a like and please subscribe because I plan on making a lot more videos, especially with my brand new camera. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls